Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to start talking about chalk pastels. So if you don't have any of those soft artist pastels at home, grab some sidewalk chalk because we're going to be going over that as well. Alright, let's get started. guys so you just saw a time-lapse video of a landscape being made with soft chalk pastels these are the artist pastels the colors are very vibrant very saturated now I did the same thing using sidewalk chalk so you can definitely see that the colors are more pastel they're lighter they're less saturated um, but you do still get some of the color variation um, that you would get with the artist pastel. So I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step using the sidewalk chalk so that you guys can really understand how to layer the colors, a good way to create kind of a textural background, and maybe a couple of other little pointers. Um, so before we get started, ideally you would like to have a black paper or a gray toned paper for the pastels. That way your background really pops with your foreground. A couple things to keep in mind. Number one, it's really good to have a lot of contrast, and that's pretty much with every kind of drawing. So really dark darks, really light highlights, or you could even have colors that are complementary, so they are directly across from the color wheel, from each other on the color wheel. So blues and oranges contrast really well, purples and yellows, greens and reds or pinks, those are all complementary color combinations that will work well to create contrast and pops of bold color. So we're going to get started and I'm just going to draw a couple little daisy flowers and we'll just start down here kind of near the bottom and again I'm using this orange neutrally color. Um, we don't really want to use a pencil because we won't be able to get that to erase and to be hidden from It'll show through the pastels, basically. They'll show through the shading. All right, let me get these drawn in. I'll put it on time lapse, and I'll catch back up with you. All right, so you can see that the drawing itself is very loose, very sketchy. If you do make a mistake, the good thing about the chalk pastels is you can layer over it and kind of erase it um, by working that chalk off of the page. So for the background, I'm gonna choose I'm gonna work with these blues and maybe I'll add in some green and even some gray just to create like a textured background that I think will pop and contrast pretty well with the white um, of these flowers. All right, so I'm just gonna go straight up against the edges here. Make sure that those borders are gonna be nice and crisp. And I always tell my students, always start with your background first and then move forward in your image. So with that landscape, I started with the sky first and then you work towards the viewer. So the next part was the water and the land of bar that's in the very background. And then you can move to where the sand and the grasses are kind of in the foreground, okay? That's what's closest to the viewer. To always start with your background. And again, I'm just loosely filling in this white space. And then I'll start to bring in, let's see if this color makes much of a difference. So it's not a huge difference in color. You can see a little bit of the difference, but let's bring in some of this green and see what that, yeah, I like that. And I'm just gonna make, keep making vertical lines, maybe add in some gray. The same way that we created that streaky background for the clock, we're gonna do the same thing. And then you can just start to press it into the page. Okay, I'm not just dusting it along, I am actually pressing it into the page. And it does lighten up the colors a little bit but it also helps them blend some more. 
So you can see that there are hints of these grays and the greens in that blue. And I think that'll make a really interesting background against these white flowers. All right, so now we can really start to see the flowers start to take shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to put in this white and really it's just going to help move some of that around fill in and smooth out some of those lines Again, this is where that contrast is going to come in. These are for like the tips. And let's see about adding purple maybe. We'll see how that goes. here that defines where the stem is and up here as well I don't know if you guys paid attention but I applied quite a bit of gray down at the bottom of each flower just to kind of help indicate shadow and direction right there there we go so you might even go back and do the same kind of thing just to give it a little bit more I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. If you do have any chalks at home, get outside. Today it's beautiful. Stay at home does not mean that you have to stay in your home. So just remember to enjoy, have fun, challenge yourselves, and wash your hands.